After dissection, we need to then mount the vessel in the 620M chambers. You will place a section of the wire between the jaws. You just need to clamp it in place. You do not need to press too hard as you could damage the force transducer. Now on the micrometer side, you will need to secure one end of the wire. It does not matter which side. Place the wire under the screw and tighten the screw in a clockwise direction. Now you can add the vessel to the bath and fix your view on the end, on the free end of the wire in the bath. Now, using your forceps, you will mount the vessel onto the wire. Again, try to limit the handling of the vessel as much as possible. Slide the vessel up to the jaws. However, take note, if the back end is pinched shut, you do not want to overstretch the vessel too much by pulling on it. You will need to either use the, use the end of the wire or your forceps to open the back side. Hold the free end of the wire with your forceps and close the jaws. Now you can open the jaws and place the vessel in the jaw gap. You can now secure the second side of the wire. Again, you will do this in a clockwise manner. Once you have this first wire secured, you need to ensure that no part of the vessel extends past the jaw separation on the outside. Move the jaws apart and grab a second wire. Hold it at least 10 millimeters from the tip. Carefully insert the second wire. You will need to avoid touching the lumen or letting go of the wire while it is still inside the vessel. Push the wire all the way through, or you can pull from the other side once you have the wire through the vessel. Pull it so it is equal on both sides. Move the jaws together and make sure that the second wire is under the first. Secure one end of the wire, of the second wire, again in a clockwise manner. Pull and make sure that the second side is tight and secure the second end. You can now slightly open the gap and check that the wires are taut. Before moving back to the interface, move the wires so that they are almost touching side by side.